Good afternoon, dear people of the internet, beyond and out with. Welcome to Maverick Baking and welcome to another chocolate review. Today's one is a limited edition one, one from the other side of the globe we have all chosen or been forced to reside upon. We are talking about the Cadbury Twirl Bites in strawberry flavour. Now these are Twirl Bites proudly made, so I'm led to believe, in Tasmania. So this caters to the Aussie and Kiwi market, but has been happily made available to me in Scotland, thanks to either B&M or Home Bargains. I can't remember which one it was, but you'll find it in one of those somewhere. So these are not actually a kind of UK market suite. Cadbury in the UK has not made these available, but I was too intrigued. My nose was far too large to not poke itself into a bag of these before leaving. Mostly because I want to be proven wrong. <laughs> as my mother proudly refers to this channel as the Cadbury slander channel, I need to know whether Cadbury can do a good job of adding artificial strawberry flavouring to chocolate. I am not one of high hopes, <laughs> but I'm ready to be proven wrong. So the Twirl Bites are derivative of the Cadbury Twirl. If you've never had one before, it's a kind of wiggly, squiggly, flaky chocolate encased in a thin layer of even more milk chocolate. And it's very light. But this is a kind of obviously smaller and more bite-sized version of that, designed for shaving, even though the bag is only 110 grams, which doesn't sound like a shaving portion to me personally. These are strawberry flavored swirls and curls coated in dairy milk chocolate from which we can expect full cream milk, sugar, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, milk solids, emulsifiers, and flavorings. I am not an enormous fan of strawberry flavored chocolate. I've seen it done well and I've seen it done terribly. So I'm intrigued to see if this is gonna be worth your money. From the get go, honestly, I thought the strawberry smell may have been more violent than that as it certainly can be when it's artificial, but there's a good kind of balance between the smell of Cadbury dairy milk and the smell of artificial strawberry. So to give you an idea of the size of these little chaps, I have two stuck together for such purpose. This is what they look like. They are quite literally little bite-sized pieces, perfect for sitting and snacking on, perfect for the cinema, things like that, I would say. But let's see if this flavor is worth picking up. If I had to describe these incredibly crudely in no more than one word, that word would be cheap. Very cheap. Though the smell is not as violent as I'd expected, I'd expect that artificial strawberry to really overpower, and it didn't, it absolutely did so in the taste. <laughs> it is the first and last and only thing that you taste while eating these. You get that Cadbury Dairy Milk twirl texture and taste very, very briefly. You get the kind of graininess that Cadbury chocolate has that some people like it for. I have been a big fan of Dairy Milk in the past for that very texture. However, all you taste is strawberry flavouring. Not an actual strawberry, not even something well flavoured with strawberry or some kind of strawberry extract, just artificial cheap kids strawberry ice cream or strawberry syrup strawberry like that level <laughs> technically that's what it's advertising itself as it's advertising itself as a strawberry flavor twirl bite and that it absolutely is it's absolutely reminiscent of any twirl i've ever eaten within its texture the flavor is strawberry flavor for all its sins but it's not one i would recommend if you're not a fan of the cheapest of cheap feelings and flavours all in one mouthful, if I'm being perfectly honest. A regular twirl, even the orange flavoured twirls feel a bit more luxurious and worth your cash than this does. Though I'm usually a big fan of Australian chocolate or South African chocolate versus UK chocolate when it comes to Cadbury productions, this is one that doesn't really hit the mark for me. But that could just be personal opinion. On that basis, for meeting its brief, but for being something I'll quite gladly share with the family instead of continuing to eat by myself, I'll give these twirl bites a two out of five. If you've tasted these twirl bites in strawberry flavor, do let me know your thoughts. Perhaps it's just this flavor. Perhaps there's no way to incorporate artificial strawberry flavoring into milk chocolate without it tasting like childhood in all the worst ways. <laughs> but do let me know what you think. 
But that is all I have time for at the moment, guys. I have some more great niche and exciting little chocolate reviews coming your way from chocolate from all over the world, from the big name brands. And I look very much forward to sharing those with you. But for now, that's all I have time for. Thank you so much as always, and I'll see you for the next one.